ahead of Thursday's emergency summit, NATO chief Jens Stoltenberg said he expected the alliance to agree to major reinforcements on its eastern flank, announcing new planned deployments. The first step is the deployment of four new NATO battle groups in Bulgaria, Hungary, Romania and Slovakia. This means that we will have eight multinational NATO battle groups all along the eastern flank, from the Baltic to the Black Sea. Alarmed by the prospect that Russia, whose forces in Ukraine appear stalled, might escalate the war with the use of chemical, biological or even nuclear weapons, NATO is also expected to send Kyiv equipment to defend against such attacks. Stoltenberg has said that any use of chemical weapons would change the nature of the conflict and would have far-reaching consequences. But for now, the alliance is focused on deterrence, ensuring the war does not escalate beyond Ukraine into a wider conflict with Russia. For this reason, NATO members have so far refused Ukraine's demands for a no-fly zone over the country, a point reiterated by German Chancellor Olaf Scholz on the eve of the summit. NATO will not become a party to the war. We're in agreement on this with our European allies and the U.S. Poland, however, has proposed sending NATO peacekeepers to Ukraine, but the alliance has not endorsed the idea and the U.S. has rejected it. Moscow has also condemned it, warning it could spark a broader war. NATO has repeatedly said it will not deploy troops to Ukraine.